Hey Binancians, Karis here from Binance Australia. I get asked all the time, why are the markets dipping at the moment? And why have we got to this place? Well, take a listen and I'll tell you exactly what happened over the last two years to get us where we are today. In November 2021, we saw all-time highs across the board in crypto and equities markets. And since the beginning of this year, we've witnessed a decline. So why did this happen in the first place? Well, if we cast our minds back to the beginning of 2020, when that small thing called a global pandemic started, central banks and governments across the globe freaked out. And rightly so. They faced an event that they had never seen before. And because of this, they didn't have a roadmap to follow. So we all locked ourselves inside and we started baking bread and we swore that we would use this time at home to get really fit. Central banks, on the other hand, started printing money in order to support the economy. Look, we know they don't actually print money, but check out my video on Monetary and Physical Policy Explainer to provide more detail. Okay, so we were all on our fourth, and let's face it, probably our final at-home Pilates class. Governments were giving out handouts and central banks were printing money, which means all of a sudden there was all this extra cash floating around the economy looking for a home. That money found a home in the private and public markets, which overflowed into crypto and the NFT markets. All of a sudden, all this money floating around artificially pushed up the valuations across these markets. So when we fast forward to the end of last year and the grip that the global pandemic had on us started to relax with the release of vaccines and the increased travel ability, governments and central banks started to think about contracting the economy as inflation figures started to look a little concerning. And as fiscal and monetary policy went into contraction, this forced investors to rethink their trading strategies and a bunch of investors started selling. This had a flow on effect and forced liquidation across markets, particularly those who were trading on margin, and hence we saw a market downturn. Now we are likely in a place where most investors who were forced to sell have already sold, and we are waiting with bated breath to see how long central banks will continue to force the economy into contraction. And whilst it might seem all doom and gloom, some of our biggest companies of all times were created coming out of bear markets. Amazon, Apple, Facebook, Instagram, they were all created in the years coming out of a recession. This can be an incredible time to build a company and project, and with that brings opportunities to investors. 